Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is the medians of triangles. In the next part, part two, we'll do the altitudes of triangles and where they intersect there is a certain name, okay? But we gotta talk about a median first. So these are the balancing points of the center of gravity of a triangle. So, so we've talked about um, uh, the circumcircles and the incircles, and so this is gonna be something else. And so the circumcircles, we had the circumcenter and then we had the incenter. So these are going to be other names here. So medians of triangles. So a median of a triangle is a, is a segment whose endpoints are a vertex of the triangle uh, and the midpoint of the opposite side. Okay, and you're thinking, what does that mean? Okay, so this is a vertex. This is a vertex. This is a vertex. So I'm going to focus on this vertex right here. And then we'll go to the midpoint of the opposite side. So let's go ahead and just construct the midpoint right there. Okay, so, so that's the midpoint right there. Uh, it's in the middle, and we show that with these two dashes right here. And then we're just going to connect this to this right here. And when we do that, that gives us our median. So AM is a median. Well, there should be a segment bar on top of this. I thought there was. So anyway, so AM is a, is a median right there, okay? That's going to disappear, what that should be right there. All right, you guys. So a triangle has three different medians because if we did another median from another vertex, it would be, um, if it goes to the midpoint of this side, and I don't know, I guess the midpoint over here of AB would be like right about there. And if we connected it and the midpoint of AC, okay, it would go. And what happens is they all intersect in the same spot. Uh, and that would be called the centroid right there, okay? So remember, um, uh, where the perpendicular bisectors intersected, that gave us the circumcenter. And where the angle bisectors intersected, that gave us the incenter, okay? So now we have the centroid, okay? In the next lesson, part two, we're going to get uh, the orthocenter, but we'll talk about that later, okay? Oops, I went a little bit too fast, okay? So the centroid of a triangle, um, so here we have a centroid of this triangle right here. So notice the markings so this marking says that this is the midpoint of this side and so so that is a median right there these two dashes and these two dashes suggest that this is the midpoint right here and then these three dashes and these three dashes mean uh, that this is the midpoint right here so right there is called the the centroid okay and so that centroid is located two-thirds of the distance from each vertex to a midpoint of the opposite side sorry another teacher's calling me I'll, I have to call them back in just a second. Okay, so two-thirds, what that means is um, AP, okay, is two-thirds uh, to the opposite side. So let's go to AP, okay? So AP is two-thirds of the whole length, AX right there, okay? And then BP is two-thirds of its whole length, okay? So here's BP right here. It's going to be two-thirds of this guy right here. And then CP is going to be two-thirds of its whole length right there, okay? So I think it's easier to think about this, you guys, is um, uh, if it's two-thirds, then the other piece must be one-third right there. So so if, if this length is two-thirds, then this length is one-third of the whole length. So what we can say is that, that PX is half of um, AP, okay? So we can put that on there. PX is half of AP. Um, whoops, let's go right there. And then, uh, so when we go to the next one right here, PY, PY is half of the other side, okay? So this length is half of this length right here. And similarly, uh, PZ is going to be half of this length right here, CP right there, okay? All right? And then so we can also think of it like this, you guys. Here, I gave us a little hint right here. AP is twice PX. Okay, so this length is twice this length right there. So um, uh, this length is going to be twice of this length, and then CP is going to be twice of PZ right there. Whichever relationship you like on that uh, to help us do that. So let's do this here. So here we have a figure, AF equals 9. So here's AF right here, AF, the whole thing equals 9 right here, and then it says this whole uh, median right here equals 7.2, okay? I like doing the halves and the doubles and all that, so let's find AG, okay? So AG is going to be part of, okay, your book, is they, they like doing the two-thirds stuff, and I think it's easier to just think of this, you guys. If this 
is, um, uh, I'm sorry, if the whole piece is 9 right here, then this piece is going to be 1 third of 9, and this piece is going to be 2 thirds of 9. Or find the smaller piece, it's 1 third, and then double it, and that'll give us the bigger piece right there. Okay, the whole piece is 9, so that means GF is going to be a third of 9. You can hear my dog Lucy in the background with her squeaky. She's a uh, rescue dog that we found right there. So if we take the, a third of the whole length, you're going to hear that through the rest of the video now. So if you um, uh, take the third of the whole length, then that means uh, the shorter piece right here. Let me see it, Lucy. Come here. Come here. Sorry. Okay. Just going to do this the whole video. Anyway, sorry, guys. So this is, this is three because it's one third the whole length right there. So if this is three, then double it, and that's going to get us that piece of six right there. Okay. All right. I know it's a distraction. We're almost done, you guys. So let's do the same thing for GE. Okay. So GE is going to be... And they gave us the whole piece is 7.2, so this is going to be one-third of 7.2, okay? So I'm just going to divide 3 into 7.2, okay? So when we when we divide, you guys, don't forget your division. A lot of people want to just pick up a calculator and they forget about it. Slide that decimal right up there. Okay, I'll do that first. And then there it is. And then now we're going to go, how many times does... Does this 3 go into this 7? It goes in there 2 times. And so 3 times 2 is 6. And we throw that down right below there. And then we subtract. Okay. So 7 minus 6 is 1. And then we slide that next number down. And then how many times does 3 go into the next uh, number down here? So how many times does this 3 go into 12? It goes in there 4 times. So our answer is going to be 2.4. Okay, all right, so here we go. So let P be the centroid of triangle STU and let SW, segment SW, be a median of triangle STU. All right, so it says SW equals 18, SP equals, uh, find SP and PW, okay? All right, so um, so i got to draw a picture. So just draw any generic triangle right there, okay? And so since we have, Lucy, stop. Let me see that, sweetie. Come here, you're bugging me. Come here, honey. Come here. Good. All right, I'm going to put it on here on the table. She'll do that the whole thing. She did that on a video, the whole video, and it just kept going and going. It's just a distractant, so I know. Uh, she's, she's about a 10-pound dog. I found her in front of my classroom door on a cold January morning on uh, it's like 6 o'clock in the morning. She was starving. She was skinny. She was shaking and cold and scared. And Anyway, so we took her in, and we fell in love with her. So She's our new pet. She was here for about a year and a half now. She's about 10 pounds. Okay, so um, uh, it says SW is a median, so that means we're going to go over here and then let's just let's just um, uh, construct the midpoint, like right about there. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, and then there's the median right there. Okay, and then um, now it says we got to the centroid involved, so somewhere we have this centroid where P is the centroid. So P is floating on here somewhere. Remember, it's going to be right about there. It's going to be about one third of the whole length. So this would be one third. This would be two thirds. So I'm just going to float P right there. Okay. Yes, I see you, honey. All right. So um, uh, so there, just float P in there. Okay. Now it says SW equals 18. So let's go ahead and throw an 18 right there. And then this is going to be a third of that. And this is going to be twice, whatever that is right there. So take a third of 18 and then double it to get the other piece. Okay, so a third of 18 will give us PW, which is 6, and then double that. That'll give us PD. Did I say PD? Um, PSP. Sorry, this should be SP right here. Sorry. So we'll double that, and this will be SP, okay, the other side up there. Okay, so I make mistakes all the time. The kids catch me. So whatever this length is, this is twice that right there. So SP will be uh, 12. This is this is 6, and the whole thing is 18 right there, okay? All right, so let's see. Let's find the coordinates of the centroid in this figure right here, okay? So first we've got to do, remember, our midpoint formula. So here's our midpoint formula. We average the x's together and average the y's together. So what I'm going to do first is find the midpoint of this segment right here. So I'm going to add 0 plus 6 over 2. 8 plus 4 over 2, okay? When I do that, I'll call it point M, and so we get uh, 3 comma 6 on that. And then I'll do the same thing with um, this segment right here, okay? So we'll do uh, 0 plus 3 over 2, and then 8 plus 0 over 2. That'll give us, and we'll call it point N, okay? So those are the midpoints of two sides. So if we connect them to the opposite vertex, 
uh, that'll give us uh, two medians. And then right there where they intersect is going to be our centroid right there. So our centroid is at 3, 4. All right. All right. If you're in my class, that will be your assignment. Take care.